Hey guys, Brad from Team Crimson here, bringing you a discussion video. And today we're actually going to be talking about uh, meta analysis, like we usually do. But this is meta analysis post uh, B BT01 Unite Team Q4. Um, it's the first set of the new B series. Um, first set um, that is talking about standard format. Now we have two formats to talk about for our meta analysis. Um, so. First off, we'll go into premium because premium is actually the most boring right now. Um, All right, so for premium, it is pretty much OTT or die. They have unblockable turns, thanks to the old Silent Tom, the new Silent Tom, and Stillwater. Yeah. Um, so yeah, either play OTT or what you just said. Play OTT, your guy. Yeah. You can play um, ZTB, is, ZTB and um, Blasters still do relatively okay, but um, unblockable turn makes <laughs> makes for everything. So, uh, yeah. Scary times. Um, that's literally about it, though, for premium. Uh, we won't see too many shakeups for that again until um, the next set or so. Uh, especially when Aqua Force comes out. When Aqua Force comes out, we'll probably see a huge shakeup in premium. Um, so, anyways, uh, moving on to standard. Now, standard is also a little bit boring because um, you've only got the one set, and there was only four clans in standard. So, uh, you're 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 pretty much comparing, having to compare these four clans. Um, you've got any. People who aren't familiar where the four clans are. Kagro, OTT, Royal Paladin, and Drrr, No Grappler. Perfect Razor! Somebody's boom, boom. really excited for the Razor. Sorry. It's a little it's it's a little much. Anyways, uh, <laughs> Enter the ring! <laughs> Suck. Uh, anyways, so yeah, so there's only the four clans um, that we're having to talk about for standard. Uh, now, the reason, too, that this video is coming out so late, normally we like to do a meta-analysis just a week or so after, um, kind of kind of predicting, but yet actually having some results to uh, validate our predictions. Um, the reason we, why we had to wait so long was because uh, the, the change in format. With people getting used to standard, um, you have to take that into... Uh, consideration. Uh, you also have to take into consideration that all four of these clans are pretty close together. They're pretty even, to be honest. But uh, in order to in order to even talk about this, we do have to kind of pick them apart um, in order to uh, kind of show which ones are better. Um, so in, uh, I don't, I don't have the results pulled up for this, but in week one, uh, you saw a lot of all of the clans topping. Um, Kagura won the biggest event, won the biggest events in, uh, in Japan. And then, uh, Oracle Think Tank got a bunch of wins. Nova Grappler got a lot of wins. Uh, Royal Paladin got quite a few wins as well. Uh, moving into week two, we saw a lot of Nova Grappler, um, topping. And then we started to see a little bit more of OTT on the rise. Um, and then moving into week three, I'll pull that one up while I can talk about that. Week three, Oracle Think Tank freaking dominated. Um, the results were that 30, yeah, 35% of the tournaments uh, were, were made up of Oracle Think Tank fighters. And that was ridiculous. Uh, they were, Kagura was a close second with 29%, uh, Royal Paladin was 22%, and Noble Gulpers were 13%. Um, but then uh, when you actually got to the top 16 and stuff, uh, Oracles just freaking dominated that as well. Um, and then now uh, into technically what would be week four, 
uh, we're starting to see results somewhat solidify a little bit more. Uh, the results somewhat vary from the last week, but they're a lot more solid from uh, than we've been seeing, which has been like a roller coaster. Um, but in uh, and this week, uh, Kagero is the one that is dominating. Um, Kagero, the u clan usage was thirty-eight uh, percent. Uh, 38%, uh, yeah, OTT dropped down to 26, uh, Royals 22, and uh, Novas are 13, so it was still pretty consistent for Royals and Novas. Uh, however, when you actually go to the top 16, you'll see a lot of Kagero, uh, a lot of OTT, and I don't think there was any Royals. Uh, and there was... I, no, there was a Nova Grappler. Yeah, there was a Nova Grappler as well. Um, and then, yeah, the top four. Uh, first place was Kagero. Second place was Kagero as well. Uh, third place was OTT. And fourth place was Kagero. Um, so, yeah. Uh, we're starting to see results solidify a little bit. Well, it makes sense that Kagero would be up top. Yeah. Uh, especially against OTT, just because what is protect against waterfall? Right. Yeah, waterfall. Yeah, true. Steals, steals. Waterfall automatically, yeah, just steals it. You can have as much protect PGs in your hand as you want. Waterfall don't care. But I need those PGs. They're extra PGs. So <laughs> um, No graphics. All I care about. It sucks if they're in top. Except in those. But All they they, they made it to the top sixteen. Yeah. That's, so I'm proud. Oh, that's something. Again, like you said, most clans are really even now. Mm -hmm. There are only four that are released. Yeah, it's just it's literally you're just uh, we're we're splitting hairs here. It's literally you're you're taking uh, it, you know I was explaining this to them. It's like if if you have to if you had to had to rank them, I'd put royal paladins here. And Nova Grappler right here, and then kind of Kagura and Oracle Think Tank kind of button heads a little bit. Right. Um, did you want to say anything about Oracle Think Tank? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, I will say once some more plans get released, hopefully we see a little bit of a ladder on what's topping more, what's topping less. Yeah, we'll see more variation for sure, and uh, that introduces just more stuff to the pool, so uh, we won't see this necessarily kind of triangle meta that it kind of is. Right, and everything seems to be pretty even so far, like you were saying. Um, wow. Games now, games now pretty much rely on somewhat skill and trigger luck. Triggers. Trigger, huge trigger huge sacking is a huge yeah, trigger sacking. Is a huge thing in standard now. So yeah, and from switching from premium to now standard, you gotta really get used to it because you could be guarding and you'd be like, Oh, that's a two to pass, you know, in reality now that triggers are more it'd be one to pass. Well, that is I've why that. we had to wait for yeah. a little while to I've wait done that. for things to solidify because People have to get used to the new way of this game. Everything's changed. Everything's back to yeah. season one, but more evolved even. Yeah, more evolved. Just triggers one. itself, skills themselves. It's just everything's different. So we wanted to wait a little bit. But um, yeah. Uh, well, the other thing I was I was trying to have you say um, is that uh, we do have to take some of these results as well with uh, with a grain of salt, only because. Um, uh, again, yeah, like we've been saying, they're all, all four are relatively even, but again, if you're splitting hairs, this is how it falls. But uh, the other thing, too, taking into consideration is Japan is super obsessed with Oracle Think Tank. Um, so uh, we, we've seen that back in the day when we were, uh, when we were, <laughs> were doing 
uh, we were, when we were going to the big tournaments and, and we were doing real well and we just we had just started uh, but uh, that can limit brief my brief is um, but uh, the Sukuyomi Sukuyomi was topping forever for way too long in Japan and it wouldn't have done anything here uh, or on a world stage for that matter when it for Sukuyomi but it was doing relatively well in Japan and a lot of players were playing it because Japan loves OTT reasons. Uh, when it comes over here to the States, you know, that'll be quite different, we'll see. Um, but uh, Kagero, yeah, people, uh, Americans have an obsession with Kagero, so it's kind of disappointing. Um, I mean, the end. Done. Yeah, the end was around for a very, very long time. And then it came back. Threatening break rides. way into the break ride era. Um, so, definitely going to be super relevant. Was mm -hmm. threatening again in Legion era because of uh, the cross. So, yeah, good times. Expect um, Kagero. Yeah, a lot of Kagero. A lot. Will be topping. It's going to be scary. Sure. Especially um, for a Nova Grappler. And Waterfall's a thing. And with Dragon and Gaia, sometimes too, it's just. Just get them to win. Um, but yeah, that's. Really Nova Grappler's the best? Nova Grappler is nowhere near as bad as some people are trying to make you think it is. Um, it's just a matter of learning the deck. And, uh, which will take time. Which takes time, ask this, ask this guy. Yes. Um, Nova Grappler Master. Takes a while. Uh, <laughs> it's because they're small pokes, and lately with G, they've been massive pokes. Multiple, more than like... I might get six, maybe seven attacks in one turn. Maybe. But. I gotta say, too, I was completely wrong. Like, um, we did our set discussion. Or I said Royals would, would take it. Royals are consistent. Um, uh, it's a relatively easy deck to play. It's an easy deck to play. It's, you, it's, a, it's a helmet deck. But, um... Uh, and with, yeah, with them having field and power and soul saber dragon and all that, and I have and having an early game, I thought they would do the best. I was wrong. They're apparently they're not topping like hardly at all. You're seeing them very. You're seeing them very rarely. Um, I couldn't have predicted that one. I never saw that coming at all. Because I mean, a couple skills. Um, require counterblast, but well, uh, most of the skills require counterblast. But I mean, yeah, it's people, not even that. Like you could go games. I feel without getting blaster blade to retire stuff on the field, you could go games without getting a Kane. If you get the certain cards to stack and get um, get soul in there, get enough cards on the field, make sure they get up to that even three damage. I've lost on soul saver turns at three damage. You know, it's the that scary. Guard, it's, it's, a, it's a scary turn for Soul Saver, but again, we're not seeing results. We just aren't. Uh, I mean, it's, free, they it's, get draws just for yeah, playing a card, and then they still don't top. That's just it's very bizarre. Um, I don't know if that'll change. Maybe that'll change here in the states. Yeah, but there I, is. I don't know. There is one thing with Royals that you have to look at compared to the other clans that came out in this pack. Royals didn't really get anything that countercharges, whereas Kagro can countercharge, Novas can countercharge, and OTT can countercharge. That might, that you honestly kind of hit the nail on the head. That, so, that might be the main reason why we're not seeing them. Once you run out of counter blast, you can't really do anything else out, and anything I, else with that deck. I mean, you could go into Soul Saver, Soul Blast, but you gotta have that. So but if first. people play smart, then they guard early game. Those huge numbers won't matter yeah. by the time they want to use it. And damage restrict yeah. or damage deny more. Like yeah, that. damage deny your opponent, damage deny roll dog player, and snipe their rear guard as yeah. much as possible. The other thing with Royals you gotta think about is I've seen a lot of deck lists for Royals where they're playing Blaster Blade, which is an obvious. 
for Alfred yeah, with Soul did. Saver. So, depending on what you're drawing, you gotta kind of pick and choose what skills you whether want to do. you want to use Blaster Blade skill and retire a rear guard of your opponents, which could possibly be doing you a lot of bad, or save your soul for Soul Saver. So, once again, it goes back to Season 1 kind of type stuff where it's like you got to pick and choose your skills and maybe these players aren't um, ready for that. Yeah. Or they aren't like that. I don't know. I'm, I'm not in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll have to see what the results are when the, the set is this Friday. Yeah. It comes out this Friday. So for for America, so. I'm waiting for the following Friday. Uh, Clan set twenty nine booster box opening twenty nine. Uh, we'll, yeah, we'll be doing booster box openings. We'll be doing uh, some deck profiles and stuff like that. And Mine is the only one we'll worth watching. We'll finally be able to upload games. We have been practicing in standard for quite some time, but we've been using proxy cards, so we don't want to record. We don't want to record proxy cards. cards. Okay. Um, but yeah, we will be so bringing you another video on the next pack. I yes, will make sure Matt's it. really excited about the Tai Chazi support, which so, but we'll do that another time. New yeah. deck. We, we'll we'll have you when we discuss the set, okay? Just shush. <laughs> He's like, can I read all the top closing cards? <laughs> so uh, this is what came out now. That's pretty much it. Uh, please like and subscribe. Please like, subscribe. Love God. Please. Do we need it? Go um, we're trying to grow. Help us. Just, just do it. Um. Yeah, do it, do please it. like and subscribe. Uh, comment below if you have any thoughts or just want to talk to us. That's fine. Um, and we will try to reply. So we will see you later. Bye. Perfect razor forever.